Hello, so this is going to be a relatively quick video and one I wasn't going to do today on obsolete calibre law changes in the UK. Because there's been a thing in the news sort of recently from a new few news sources and people have seen that. I've had a couple of people comment thinking all obsolete calibres are going to be banned and they're not. Um, it's only a very few specific obsolete calibre, which are all obsolete pistol calibres. So I'm going to, in the moment in the description, uh, put those calibres down and if YouTube lets me, I'm going to put a link to the Home Office's own sort of web page on it to explain, um, you know, the big long legal write-up if you want to read it from the actual horse's mouth, not a journalist sort of paraphrasing it. So if you don't know, obsolete calibres in the UK are firearms you can legally own without a Section 1 or a Section 2 licence, because I think it's a Section 58 they fall under, which is an obsolete calibre. And what that means is they're generally all pre-World War One firearms, as in pre-World War One rifles, shotguns and pistols, which as the name implies, use a very obsolete calibre, as in a cartridge used in the firearm has not been in production for a very long time, so the probability that you'll find cartridges and be able to shoot these is next to impossible, unless, you know, reloading and things like that are involved. Now, so why is the law being changed? Basically, it's because a couple of years ago there was a big sort of legal spat type thing where somebody was providing, um, somebody who had all like the right sort of qualifications and, you know, all that to do it, like a gunsmith, was importing obsolete firearms for gangs and then manufacturing new ammunition for them. So basically he was importing lots of old revolvers and things like that from the late 1800s, if you think Wild West era revolvers, that sort of thing you know, Wild West to the sort of start of the 20th century. And what he was then doing was, because these were legally on the obsolete calibre list, he was producing ammunition for them, supplying them to gangs, so when they wanted to use pistols in crimes, you know, old revolvers that were pretty concealable, they could get away with it. Um, now, obviously, he was eventually caught and done and everything, but it made a spat where, you know, all the people who were really anti-gun were going, all obsolete calibres need to be banned because this is just a thing for, you know, criminals. Or obviously, if you're a criminal and you've got enough money, you'll have automatic weapons because of what a black market is. Um, so, lots of people see, have seen some of the headlines around this and they think it applies to things like this. You know, old Austrian rifles or old, you know, Swiss rifles and things like that, and it doesn't. So, just to show you, this is an old 1886 Manlicher or Manlicher. Um... Now, this is an obsolete calibre firearm, it has even a really old obsolete magazine system in this, you know, where it, you feed it in with an on-block clip and then it ejects that out the bottom of the magazine. This is a very um, old kind of obsolete calibre, but it is, um, you know, a fully functional firearm. In theory, if you had the ammunition for this and it was in good enough condition, you could shoot this and it would work absolutely fine. So, a lot of people have seen this and they think stuff like this is now being banned and it's not. So basically what the law means is there's a selection of obsolete pistol calibers which will now require licensing as a section 1 firearm. So what that means is if you have these obsolete calibers and you want to shoot them, you need them registered with a proper gun license. So for some people they'll want to surrender or sell them before the law changes. Um, you know, For other people they might be able to register them if they've already got a gun license and all that. But what this does not mean is things like Schmidt Rubin rifles, Martini Henrys, and, you know, Manlickers, and the whole host of other obsolete muskets and that you can find are being um, made legal. It's specifically some pistol calibers, and I'm going to put in the description what those calibers are, and if it lets me, a link to the Home Office page. It's to do with organised crime, basically. And again, it sucks that they're being added, especially if you bought a very expensive old retro revolver. But, you know, I, it's at least, they're not banning all obsolete calibres, they're doing specifically ones that were obviously ones used in certain crimes or very similar sort of cartridges that could easily be remanufactured. So, um, if you've got an old obsolete calibre shotgun or rifle, I wouldn't worry about it. Funnily enough, although when these things are being taken off the obsolete calibre list, there's actually dozens more cartridges being added to the obsolete calibre list. So as of when this law changes, you will actually be able to own um, quite a few more old retro rifle cartridges. So there should, in theory, be more variety of bolt-action rifles on the obsolete calibre list, including things like Kokanos, I believe, with the uh, law changes. But anyway, I'll put in the description um, and a link, you know, what these changes are. But if, if you're... The majority of people with an obsolete calibre will not be affected by this. The only issue has been with a lot of the journalism around it. 
they've just simplified it as obsolete caliber, not obsolete caliber pistols in these specific cartridges. So I'll put those in the description, but yeah. The only people I have to worry are obviously the people who are unlucky enough to own some of those pistols, um, you know, old revolvers in those cartridges. But the vast majority of people this won't affect you at all.